Stelianek, Rulon Pina. Welcome to the Founder BB Show. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I am doing very well, and I'm so glad you're here, and I want my audience to know we'll be talking about Leukemia and Lymphoma, the society that addresses concerns for patients, and um, we'll be talking about the 18 to 39 blood cancer patient. Delia Nett, I'm going to think you know a lot about um, leukemia and lymphoma, probably more than you <laughs> want to, correct? Uh, yes. <laughs> Can you tell me your connection with leukemia and lymphoma? Yes. Uh, well, when I first was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, I was actually moving to a new city to, pr to, pr uh, to pursue acting. Um, but I've done my fair share of background roles, and my last background role film that I did was West Side Story, directed by Steven Spielberg in 2019. And after doing that film, I knew I wanted to do more. And moving to a new city with more opportunities was the best thing for me. But unfortunately, in 2021, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer at the age of 36, which is a blood cancer that affects the white blood cells. Okay. As an adult barking on a new life and a new adventure, how did this change for you? Yes, drastically. Uh, when I heard the word cancer, uh, I didn't get scared. I didn't say, why me? I just knew I was walking in faith, and I knew I already had the victory, right? Uh, but my doctor did tell me that uh, the next step was chemotherapy. Now, chemotherapy is never easy. You go through nausea, headaches, weight loss, hair loss so many symptoms, but I got through it. Within three months, I was in remission. Uh, but unfortunately, the month of March of this year, I had a relapse, which means that the cancer came back. But no worries, we're still walking in faith and we're still walking in victory. <laughs> and I am now back in remission, praise God. And one of the biggest things for me was the support of my family and friends. Uh, I think that's very crucial in these situations. It is very mm -hmm. much, but faith is the, the substance of things we hope for, the yes. evidence of things not seen. So with leaning on your faith, did you become stronger? What happened when you used faith in conjunction with medication? Oh, I definitely got stronger. Come on. <laughs> definitely got stronger, and my faith went to another level. You know, we're, we're in a specific level when it comes to faith, but when these situations happen, it just went to another level. And I'm just so grateful and thankful. And I just went more into the word as well. You know, I think it's so important to re really get into the word and, and know what God is saying to us in these situations. So, yes, definitely another level with faith. <laughs> that is so powerful in what you're saying. And I have to ask this other question. When you're in the midst of the storm and you raise your faith level, mm -hmm. and it works, mm -hmm. but when you come out of the storm slowly but surely, mm -hmm. how do you keep that faith? Oh, you keep standing tall and continue to keep, keep believing. You know, j just because you're coming out of something doesn't mean you diminish the faith. You continue the walk, right? So for me, I just continue the walk, and when I was... Uh, diagnosed again, uh, when it came back, I just continued. I continued to walk in faith. That is so powerful. That touches my heart, and I hopefully it touches my mm -hmm. listening audience who are facing uh, uh, leukemia, lymphoma, or anything else in their life. Daily trials. Faith is the answer to all things. I want to thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. So people... Um, Let's talk about uh, LLS and helping young adults face these diagnoses. You have faith. What other people may not have faith when they face a diagnosis, what can they do? Yes, well, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society has amazing, amazing resources and free resources. One of my favorite resources that they have is the weekly online chats. Now, these chats, they can come in and talk about anything from fashion, food, family, business. This is a safe place for people to come and not feel alone because sometimes in these situations, you can feel alone. And so get Getting in these chats is such a great resource. Another resource that they have is uh, the support groups. Now, the support groups are in person. For those that are ready to mingle and, you know, are pretty comfortable be being around other people, this is a great resource for them as well. You are such a delight to share your journey 
I feel so privileged that I get to share this with my audience, Dayan, that you make a difference. You make a difference on this planet. Where can my audience Get some of this faith and get some more information. How about All that? All right, now. <laughs> they can definitely call the number, the 1-800 number. That's 1-800-955-4572. And they can talk to an information specialist, uh, and they can actually communicate with others in within 350 languages. And they can also go to the website, the LLS.org. Uh, and I will say to others just to not give up and continue to walk in faith. Yannette, you are such a treasure. Thank you for stopping by the Balder BB Show. You have made my week. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hi, I'm Balder BB. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway. <laughs>